Do you know that Kayamata is written in the Bible? Two women in the Bible used Kayamata. Two women used Kayamata in the Bible. Yeah, and we're going to talk about it today. Why don't Christians use Kayamata? Do, is it because we don't need it? Every marriage, almost every marriage, needs Kayamata. At a point in your life, at a stage in your life, there would come a time when you require the services of Kayamata. So in this video, we are going to be talking extensively on the biblical reference given to us for the use of Kayamata, why Christians don't use Kayamata, and reservations. So let's start. My name is Maria Habila. I am a Northern Nigerian lifestyle vlogger, which means I make videos about Northern Nigerian lifestyle, relationship. I talk about Kayamata. I sell Kayamata. And that is the reason why I'm passionate about educating people about these things because you need to know before you are able to judge. Now, let's start. What are the reservations specifically? Why don't Christians use Kayamata? First and foremost, the general rule is it is diabolical. So, ignorance. Let's say ignorance. People don't know much about these things. They think it's jazz, it's diabolical, it's spiritual, it is all form of things, but it is not. Kayamata are herbs that are used to spice up sexual life, simple and short. That's all. Anything that has to do with jazz or anything is not Kayamata. Anything that has to require tying somebody down, doing some things is not Kayamata, okay? So ignorance is one of the things why we do is Kayamata. Most people do not know the exact reason or the exact um, components, mixtures, herbs that are used for these things and that is the reason why they do not use it. And some people just do not know anything about it and they don't care to know yeah so that is one of the reasons why christians don't use karma another reason why christians don't use karma is because christians don't like to talk about sex sex is a very important part of our lives and our relationships whether we like it or not be you single be you married be you divorced be you separated be you entangled be you a mommy water a papi water wherever you are sex is a very important aspect of our life fact because you as an individual you are a product of sex and we need to learn to talk about these things because if we don't talk about them wrong information are going to be passed down to our children our siblings and you know we're going to mess up with people's minds so let's talk about them christians don't talk about sex see i was shocked to my bones that even in marriage counseling they use coded words in some churches in marriage counseling where you know that ah, you are going to go and be doing this thing almost every other day and you have free license to do this they don't even talk about it as much so where do you want people to get this information from like no honestly where do you want us to get information from you don't want us to watch pornography and i am against pornography you don't want us to um watch it in movies you don't want us to read about it you don't want to tell us about it but it's something that we are going to do subsequently and almost every like it's going to be a part of our life it's going to be our lifestyle so where do you want us to know this from and i'm saying this because um in my culture okay funny enough i am from adam state and we border we have we share border with Bruno state Bruno people they master this act like they do this thing as their culture but other people don't do kayamata they, they don't prepare their brides for wedding what is that they don't do that they don't care so it amazes me how you don't teach people things and then you not expect them to know it and by the time they're not knowing it you just hold so much information oh don't talk about it you haven't shy to talk about it but it's something that happens it's something that you you do as a mom as a dad you do and your child okay let's say you don't tell them anything when they're growing up how about when they're getting married how about you sit them down and tell them oh you know me i face this challenge you know and all that i need you to do this prepare for this prepare that be prepared for a time in your life where you're going to be dry where you are going to have low libido where your body is not going to be attractive to you not to talk of somebody else anymore nobody tells you about these things so how are you supposed to know as christians we need to learn to talk about these things talk about them in your church in your church circles in girls meeting in, in boys meeting talk about it let people know their body see especially in marriage counseling if you can employ a sex therapist during a 
marriage counseling please do it because it is very important christian homes are destroying every day and because of what some things that would have been avoided by mere knowledge now so biblical reservations and restrictions are some of the things because the bible does not go explicit about sex that's the honest truth and that's the difference between christians and muslims muslims have guidelines they tell you that your man has to satisfy you he has to um he has to they, they encourage that there's foreplay before um the real penetration and all that but there's nothing like that in christianity nobody tells you shit you're strictly on your own and you figure it out by yourself except if you have very loose friends who not loose the word is not loose maybe you have friends who are quite exposed and you can sit and tell or married women talk about it and all that and then they share experiences that's all but but the bible does not does not give us a guideline or a rule on how to have sex except that um there are some things that are prohibited prohibited like um um anal sex i don't think it's allowed in the bible like uh, I, it's not only really written in the bible that's the truth um like um sodomy lesbianism those things are the ones that are prohibited and incest they are the ones that are prohibited in the bible but um talking about oral sex and some things they are not indicated in the bible now let's run down through why christians need to use kayamata sex is a necessary evil in as much as we talk about it as a bad thing we see sex as a very bad thing god made sex and he made it so that people can enjoy it and he made it a part of our relationships to help bonding and intimacy in, in some parts there are times when you come to a relationship you you there, there, there comes a time in your relationship where you address the holy spirit as an intimate person like you use the word um intercourse with the holy spirit there's a way you and the holy spirit can become one and you know it, i don't know for those who are spiritual you you guys can get it I don't, i'm not a bible i'm not a preacher so i don't know how to explain it but it comes a time where your relationship with the holy spirit jesus relationship with the holy spirit um our relationship with god should come to a point of two becoming one and that is intercourse get it you don't get it i don't know what to say to you now god made sex so that we can enjoy it so why are you not enjoying it if you're not enjoying it how do you find a solution to it those are the reasons why you should and why you should use kayamata because you should enjoy sex there are times when your body doesn't cut it doesn't feel like it or you're having some issues and you just need something to argument to supplement that is why you need kayamata i was having this heated argument with this guy on because i'm doing a bible school currently and then we're talking about kayamata and he asked in church and um, our pastor spoke about it and then he told me i like you need some of this knowledge like these things here eh, um the bible did not create or god did not create doctors for show or for unbelievers there are times where we need doctors we need lawyers we need all these people and god has a reason why everything is created and then he said to me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and i'm like what you can do all things through christ who strengthens you in the bedroom who taught you about sex who taught you nobody um you don't want anybody to teach you you're self-sufficient that's good you can do all things through christ who strengthens you you know when he told me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i'm like <laughs> why not you read your bible until you become a doctor like read your bible study your bible until you become a surgeon since you want to become daft there are things that we excuse all in the name of i'm spiritual i don't need these things i am i am my body is dead to sin even the bible says flee all appearances of evil like run lost it did not say um when it comes to fornication the bible did not the excuse the bible say in fact the best way to prevent yourself from falling into temptation as regards sexual sin is fleeing fleeing is like next to flying no run the bible did not say walk the bible did not say look away the bible said run like flee okay so um when you want to equate something that can be so destructive so i can do all things through christ who strengthens me you're a mad person you are reading the bible out of context 
and you are going to mislead people. A lot of men of God and women of God are having issues. If you guys watched my last video, the one I uploaded on Sunday, um, extensively, you will see that I addressed this issue. A pastor called me, I was telling me things, and he even prayed with me and blessed my ministry. <laughs> what that man told me, I was shocked. He was like, averagely, people in church complain about these things. All those, brother, hmm, holier than thou, hmm. I am the one. Hmm. I am the chosen one. The only one after God's heart. David the second. Jesus a man. All of them. Most of them have issues as regards their bedroom. And they, they cannot talk about it. So as men of God, you have these issues and you cannot talk about it. When people, your followers, people who look up to you for knowledge and the word, come to you for help, what are you going to tell them? Mm -mm. Mm. What, what do you want to tell them? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you cannot do the things that you are telling them, like you practice what you preach for heaven's sake. We need this knowledge. Don't hide under the facts or the covers of I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and um, lead yourselves into temptation. The Bible says if you cannot um, stay single because you don't want to burn, you should get married. And what's the sense of getting married and you're still burning in the marriage? It could make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now, tips on how you can get good karmata as a believer. You're scared. You're not sure of all these things. Um, I have tips for you, but first, let us let me tell you the two people that use karmata in the Bible. You know Esther. When Esther was preparing herself, you think it was Sabul and Solo. She was to bath. I don't know if people know Sabul and Solo. And uh, what did what, what did you call Sabul and Solo? Well, all those soap that people say, God, Sabulu, Solo. If you're in the north, you will know it that people say, God, Sabulu, Solo, Sabulu, and a lady, or something. You know those people that is hawk, all those powder, local ash soap. You think that's what she was using? They will treat your skin, and Kayamata is part of it. You see the skin thing, this preparation, this ornament, this soaking, this milk bath, this steaming, this seat bath, all these things are part of Kayamata. It's not just waist beads, things that would make you adventurous in your bedroom, things that would make you um, enjoy sex better, whatever it is. Aside things of perversion, because I know day for perversion, aside things of perversion and um, all those things, things that would help enhance your sexual life. Esther used it. Even uh, Ruth, when she was going to meet Boaz, what did her mother in law tell her? Her mother in law gave her things to do rub cream you know do this do that let me tell you a way you tie your hair maybe let's say um you pack your hair up always and then you're going to your bedroom and then you just pat your hair and you, then you drop it your hair is dropping and you walk into that is kaya matter if you don't know now those are the things that help enhance your sexual life it doesn't have to be that you drink anything it doesn't have to be that you bath with anything it just means that there are things that you do that would help you okay so um i think i have made this clear ruth and esther used kayamata and some people just say esther is not like it's not supposed to be in the Bible because there's no mention of god in that on all that book ruth used kayamata and esther used kayamata before they all went to meet their men and their men were swept up their feet so yeah <laughs> you can read the book of esther chapter 2 and i'm not sure what book of ruth is that but esther chapter 2 verse um sha esther chapter two my baby is here i don't want to read without my glasses so some of the things tips that you need to f um know about kayamata is you don't have to buy these things honestly if you're not sure of the source you do you're not sure of the hygiene you know you don't have to buy them you can buy gorontula by yourself wash it and be eating it in your house no nee. It's not hard. You can buy date and coconut and be taken to your house. Buy watermelon. There are natural things that can help you. You don't have to go and look for any person. You don't have to come to me to buy anything. You don't have to look for anybody that you are now going to research. I be mean, this person is doing jazz. I be mean, mm -mm. you don't have to do that. You can sit in the comfort of your house and sort this thing out with wisdom. And I hope this is clear for everyone who cares that there are things that you can do in your house. And after this video, I'm going to share a few tips because I'm supposed to press some for my neighbor. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you guys the various preparatory processes of at least three to four kayamata as God gives me strength. 
and that thing is know the source of who you are buying from know what they produce know the producer know that you can meet the person and ask the person oh, what is in this what is in this and you know the uses and the effect how to use it properly that's how to use kayamata another thing is you should try variety of products sometimes when you take coconut and date it doesn't work for you you take watermelon and milk it doesn't work for you, you take sugar cane it doesn't work for you you can now mix sugar cane and ginger and it will work for you honestly so don't be don't don't stick to just gorontula some people to gorontula and it is not even as effective as sugar cane for them so try variety okay try variety of product if you can afford a variety of product try variety of products lay your hands and find the one that works for you then you can now the day you want heavy downpour you can now employ the one that can cause heavy downpour the day you just want minimal flow of the ocean you can now um you know request for use the one that can give you that result you know so just be sure of what you're doing and make sure that the holy spirit leads you because maybe when i go say that maria say make a good day make sure that your partner is comfortable with it you discuss it with it you can search online find things that help take take fruits vegetables and all those supplements that can help you i, I think that is it and then be sure of the exact products like make sure that whatever product you're getting another mistake a lot of people make is make sure that whatever product you are getting they, they tell you okay this is what you're supposed to get or be as transparent as possible with the person that you're purchasing these products from because people will just tell you oh i want kayamata okay what type of kayamata they tell you eh i just want to be sweet when you now start putting their order then i say eh i also have issues with wetness or when you now when they now buy the product and you send to them like but can this thing do this one i'm like no you ordered for just sweet now what yeah um, but i would have wanted this be as honest as possible with this person if you trust the person be as honest as possible with the person and then you are good to go to help your sexual life because christians home, christian homes are suffering i mean i know for one that christian homes are suffering a lot of men you heard it from them you say mm -mm, i am i don't want to do this i don't you sit down somebody else will snatch your husband and later you say you start blaming god and start blaming god has given us our will in our hands and i feel that whatever knowledge that will profit you you should use it i hope this video is helpful um drop your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully on sunday Bye.